What's going on guys, it's me Shukashu. we are back with another Weathering Waves video. Here we are, well I'm a little, I'm not where we left off because I decided to go around a little bit in the world just to check it out a little bit. So uh, I did a side quest that was here that took, that took place over here and then I went for these um, fast travels and then i also did it on the other side as well for these four down here and also unlock this part of the map and that's pretty much all i did extra nothing too much at all besides like getting stuff on the, along the way like chess and all that so uh nothing too important went down obviously because i'm not playing the story uh but yeah it looks like i have another side quest but let's start tracking the main quest and fast travel back here so last time all we pretty much did was um we finished chapter one and then moved on to chapter two and finished that as well I, from what i remember off the bat right now uh we just helped tian shin what's her name uh we helped her find the guy he was looking for for the grandpa that was looking for his grandson i believe and at the same time uh we got like some kind of vision of what was happening in the front lines with the general and that's pretty much where we left off uh, af before after that we just pulled my five star which was a uh, barina right here a healer <laughs> they zoomed in really close and then you can zoom out really far this is so far kind of like it like a little closer but we're good yeah that's pretty much it so can we break this one or do we need one of those things but I don't see it anyway hmm Oh, so, also, I already claimed it, but I'm pretty sure I can still look at it. We did get, at least for me, when I logged in earlier, uh, I logged into these two. So we, they gave us basically two temples. At least I, I got two temples off the males. One of them was because of bugs and all that. So... I guess I'm not the only one who was experiencing some weird problems. I don't know about I, the lagging for sure. I think login timeout ha probably happened to me like two times. Eating problems? No frame drops for sure. That still happened because I was playing earlier to... Well, besides that, I was also testing out some settings on OB, uh, setting on OBS that I swapped to make the audio a little bit louder. And uh, it kind of... It, I tested it out right before recording and it seemed like it kind of worked, so... I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, but for yesterday's video, that's a whole different story. <laughs> that one I took like an extra two, three steps to um, uh, to get it a little bit louder than how I did last time. Although I will, I don't know. My computer's been on for a while, so maybe, maybe not the heating. Uh, my brother showed me that one of his models, the two kids. That we talked to in the beginning of yesterday's video. Um, they were like pixelated a bit. He showed me. It was crazy. <laughs> and yeah, I have the I've had the game crash once also, so it seems like I'm not the only one facing these problems, but the game did just get released, so I'm not gonna be too picky about it. I mean I still pulled through and <laughs> played as much as I can so far. Uh, I think I saw the resonator, not the resonator thing, the thing we throw up here. I think. Nope, that was just a lamp. But, there is something here that we can get. One with the sound. Where, oh, I couldn't dodge, I was trying to, I was pressing it. No hesitation. Absorb. 
Well, at least we got this. Whatever it is. Anyways, let us go to our point. Oh, another thing I did. Did I do anything else? No, I didn't. I thought I did. Uh, yeah, I didn't do anything. I was trying to figure out if maybe I may have done something, but no. I'm also really glad. This must be the place. I sense something ominous from the leaf back there, but I couldn't pinpoint its source. And now, the hatred and pain is so strong in this place. I don't even need to concentrate to feel it. Rover. Something terrible must have happened here. We have to be cautious. This is a tacit field. Let's take out those tacit discords first. So what I was going to say, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to pull Verena. Because like I said, she was probably the one of two options. Yeah, she was the top two option that I wanted from the banner. And, uh... I was, there was no way I was going to re-roll because that would have taken me probably like at least an hour. What just happened here? Uh, each tacit field has a unique special buff. The tacit field located in the central plains periodically generates a concerto energy sphere, which recovers concerto energy and deals AOE damage after you cast an intro skill. Okay. Uh, defeat them. Okay, that's all we have to do. More. So I figured out a little bit um, of the like echoes. So you only use the top one. Uh, I think that was pretty obvious. Because uh, I it didn't swap or anything. Unless I'm wrong that you can swap them, but I haven't swapped them. So basically like equipment as well, because they boost skills. So they're like relics and artifacts, I would say. Because if you have like two or more, you get like a set effect type of deal. So, I gotta learn what to do about that. Oh, hello. The hour is upon us. Okay. One more time. Strike from the shadow. Nice. Keep it together. Oh, come on, we could kill it. There we go. One the sound. I sense your weakness. Oop. That's it. So what now? Purify, okay. I think oh. we found something, Rover. So this uh started act three for us. Okay, so there's a few spots. Let's just go to the farthest one. here these plaques are usually placed in ancestral shrines and they seem to belong to a different time i remember reading about something like this people held large-scale ancient rituals periodically in their villages driven by certain beliefs i see let's check somewhere else
Watch out. Something's not right. Why wouldn't it attack us? Brother. Help. Help. Brother. Br brother. Help. 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 It seems to only repeat these lines. This is not a common tacit discord. Tacit discords attack other living beings because they need to feed on those frequencies to make themselves whole again. When frequencies are scattered and recombined, a new tacit discord is born. This one probably devoured the frequencies of humans, turning the last bits of a human's consciousness into such monotonous mumbles. Are these words the last cries of someone innocent? Who is behind this twisted plot? I'm sorry. No, that's beyond my ability. I just sensed some complex feelings from it. A mixture of deep sadness and eager anticipation. Rover, I think I know what's going on here. It seems to be begging for help, but it's not asking us to help it. I can sense the pained cries of this tacit discord. No, the cries of this whole village. The village is crying, waiting for rescue. Something truly awful must have happened here. And the victim's reverberations still linger. Based on the evidence we've found and the condition of these ruins, that didn't happen all too long ago. I can still feel it in the streams. Perhaps the tacit field has kept this village from being discovered. Or maybe someone has been intentionally concealing it. Anyway, there must be something we can do. We may find the victims nearby. I can feel someone connected to what happened here is still close. This place is dangerous. I'll inform Chuzia about what happened here. Can we continue our search before the official investigators arrive? Sorry, I know it doesn't sound very convincing. It's just a hunch of mine, and I don't have any evidence to back it up. Thank you, Rover. Please stay vigilant. As for the little one here, let's leave it be. The area is a mess, but it doesn't look like a war zone. Someone was hurt and dragged away. Look, there are many footprints here. These are traces left by a fight. Someone was injured. These cards. Ah, uh, I see. The Fraxidus is likely behind it all. The Fraxidus? Yes. I don't know much about the Fraxidus, but as an outrider, I've worked on related cases. It's a group of extremists obsessed with fusing humans with tacit discords. They've caused terror attacks of various scales around the world. Fusing humans and tacit discords. We've seen signs of their presence in Jinzhou, left by lower-ranked members called Artificers. Above the Artificers are the Overseers, Leaders with eerie abilities and unknown intentions. They pose a far bigger threat. No one knows their true intentions. Some members speak of world destruction, while others claim they seek eternal power. And there is one particularly insane overseer. He's crazy even by Fraxida's standards. A man who sees no order and revels in destruction. 
I've seen similar cards in the physical evidence file of the Fraxidus-related cases. They belong to this one overseer I'm talking about. They call him... Scar. If he's responsible for what happened to these villagers, who knows what kind of cruel and twisted atrocities he's capable of. Guess you won't need my self-introduction. Oh, I spent... If you need to hear it from me, then yes, I am Scar. Cruel and twisted maniac. We deserve a meeting free of such disturbances, don't you agree? The girl, she's gonna sway your judgment. So you really care about her. Don't worry. I don't plan to make you hate me just yet. She is safe now. Well, let's just enjoy our time together for the moment. Forget about that irrelevant person, will you? I have a lot to share with you. To begin with, I heard you've lost your memories. So, it's true. That makes sense, given how fragile you were when you woke up, or I would have questioned the authenticity of those rumors. So, you noticed. Oh, I am flattered. No need to be so on edge. By now, you should have realized I'm just one of the onlookers. But out of all the onlookers, I'm the only one who came forward to meet you with absolute honesty. Before you knew anything about this world, you were already the center of conflict. You are the unknown variable we've been waiting for. Forces have been fighting for possession over you. From the moment you opened your eyes, everyone you've met, including that girl you care so much about, they all knew how valuable you are. The world is a cruel place. You are a living, breathing person, but you're just a pawn to many. That's why I'm here, because I see you as a dear friend, and I want to tell you the truth. I am so, so sorry for everything you're about to face. But truth hurts sometimes. <laughs> I know you are not one I can sway with simple words. My goal is simple. I just want to deepen our mutual understanding, nothing more. Come on. 
Observe the surroundings a little more and tell me what you see. As you learn more about this world, your true desires will surface, and our little game will become even more entertaining. And before that, I don't want anyone to disturb my precious alone time with you. That's all. Ah, oh, why do you have to assume we are the culprits? Maybe you should be asking me what actually happened here. I won't tell you everything just yet. That's too boring. As I said, why don't you take a look around and see for yourself? So go ahead. What do you see? Bravo! Didn't think you'd catch on to that. Now, what is the conclusion you've drawn? Ah, how typical. The age-old tale of savage wolves and helpless lambs. Good and evil as clear as day. It's a tired story that people cling to in their mundane lives. Oh, how it keeps them in check. But let me ask you this. Do you truly believe the real world can be that simple? Let me give you a couple more tips. The truth is far more complicated than you think. First, who are the players in our tale? An innocent girl, a revered leader, and a flock of simple villagers. Next, what makes up our main plot? False devotion, fleeting kindness, collective deceit, senseless killings, and the one vulnerable soul pushed onto a path of destruction by the masses. Now, Rover, the story is yours to spin. I'm eager to hear your version after you've learned more. Well then, uh, I guess we'll question him first, why not? It's optional, but to get the most context or information. Huh? What is it? Are you back for some chit chat? <laughs> Just tell me the truth, all of it. <laughs> no, I refuse. Oh, and don't try to threaten me. You're not in a place to bargain, remember? You don't want to disappoint me so soon. Rover. <laughs> Do I attack him, guys? Do I attack him? Nah, I'll just go get the clues. If it, if it actually, like, starts an actual fight, then I totally missed out on what clues I could find. So, I'll be a good person and look for clues. This thing was weird, though. How it, um, what was Yang Yang saying? How it, uh, basically has, like, the few remnants of whatever the last person's frequencies was saying. Whatever. If I picked up on that correctly. Uh, a crumpled page from a children's book rests on a torn piece of diary paper with a childish handwriting. Read the diary. Oh, my. I guess it's not that bad. Uh, I guess March 12th. Hi, I am blank. I found a new home and a nice uncle gave me this cool new book to write in. To write in. <laughs> Our old home was scared, scared by monsters, so we went on a super long journey to find this new place. I forgot this is a kid writing it, so. 
Um, I asked when mommy and daddy will catch up with me and uncle said really soon. Can't wait for them to join us here. The new place is so sunny and has a huge tree that grows peaches. Not many people from here go to the big city though. I just want mommy and daddy to find me quick. I like how it's PPL for people. 12, 5, so December 5. Oh, there's, there's two here, but today's my birthday. Uh, everyone is being really nice, saying I'm their lucky charm because I can keep those mean monsters away. I'm really happy and everyone likes me lots. We had cake and noodles and got presents too. It's been for forevs since I saw mommy and daddy though. Hope they come back. Will they come back? December 5. This marks my fourth birthday here and our village head made it official. I'm his daughter now. But before that, everyone was already been taking, already been taking care of me and shared with me delicious meals. My father told me I'm a child of the, how does she say it? The Chi Chi village? And I should consider myself lucky. I feel really fortunate to be loved by so many people, even though my powers are still small. I'll do my best to continue protecting the village from being invaded by the tacit discords. Our story begins here. Once upon a time in a peaceful village, lived a flock of carefree lambs. In the day, they toiled for food. And when evening fell, they sought refuge from the looming threat of wolves. Fables, stories told and retold through the ages. The ancient art of conveying hidden truths through fiction. But they always draw from real life, don't they? The same story gets told by many, and each person brings their own spin, their own focus. Whatever you learn from it is just one of countless different interpretations, like us now, caught in a carefully crafted plotline, a scheme I had no hand in. This village marks the beginning of my story with Jinjo. <laughs> So that magistrate led you here to meet me. Ha! <sighs> Such a clever move on her part. Oh, huh, interesting. Well, yeah, she did give us clues. And we were getting followed from the beginning already. Like, the second we were entering the city, there was a girl in a tree. And then I believe it was Scar and another girl who we saw yesterday and that was following us. Right after we had um, gone back to our room before we went to get breakfast in the morning. So yeah, I think those were the only three that were following us. Uh, question, Scar again? Can we? Will he say something different or will we say the same thing? Huh? What is it? <laughs> I need another hint. For some chit -chat? Again, just tell me the truth. We'll, we'll do another one. I see. One. So, you want to cheat, huh? A clever move, unbound by convention. I like it. But I'm not telling you more. Not yet. Wouldn't want our first conversation to become a boring exchange of words, just parroting each other's lines. You don't want to disappoint me so soon, Rover. Do I attack him now? He hasn't done anything but, like, take away Yang Yang, so I guess he hasn't really been a threat. Technically, right? Uh, well, let's just check this out then. The tree branches are loaded with paper slips, each holding a wish from someone. The words on most of the notes were soaked and no longer readable. Read the paper slips. Those are like the Tanabata, right? Uh, will this really work? Then I wish I could stand up again. I want money. I want so much money, I can't spend... I can't spend for the rest of my life. I mean, I I want so much money I can't spend. Okay. Amazing. Thank you, Lord. My legs really grew back. 
No, mother just died and she left me a sum of money, but I don't want my wish to come true with this. I want my mother back. I want her back. Strange, it did make me stronger, but lately I am seem to be getting weak again, and I can't move my body without something. I don't know what it says. Is it because I haven't sacrificed enough? Oh. Please don't take away my wish. I'll give you anything is blank really what we all blank wanted. Another crumpled page from a children's book half buried in the mud. One day, a shepherd visited the village. The shepherd brought them promises of abundance and protection. The lambs, drawn in by his words, soon lived in comfort and security. No, nope, quite the opposite. The shepherd's arrival is only the beginning. With a wave of his hand, the shepherd could grant their every wish. His flock obeyed, bowing their heads, pleading for better food and shelter. They no longer had to struggle for survival, as their once meager lives were replaced with endless luxury. The flock worshipped their shepherd-turned-god, praising him and holding him in the highest regard. What's wrong? Does my story make you uncomfortable? Imagine you were one of those lambs, facing irresistible temptation and pressure from your peers. Wouldn't you bow down and beg for food from your master? Oh, so we agree already. You are right, but the world we live in falls short of our ideals. The shepherd still reigns, and the lambs have grown complacent. It's up to the two of us to make that ideal world a reality. There's more clues. I'm gonna stop questioning Scar. There's no point. He's just gonna probably say the same thing anyway, because we did both options already. Uh, oh, over here. Why is this thing helping us anyway? Or why is it showing us the clues? Does he have something to do with it? I don't think so, but I kind of do. Although they didn't, he didn't really do anything to it, so. Mm. A crumbled page from a children's book silently resting on the ground. The lambs reveled in endless bonfire parties, celebrating their new god every night. Except the one little black lamb. As each night passed, it was the only one to notice how its flock was dwindling away. Rover, do you think someone would give you what you want without taking anything from you? Mm. <laughs> I once believed that too. Thought as long as I paid a high enough price, I could get my desired outcome. But true equality is scarce, always has been. The world was never a fair place. Wouldn't you agree? To receive equal retribution, one must give more and more and more. When every wish comes with a hefty price, people weigh their options carefully. But when they can make someone else bear the price, they all rush to make more wishes. They don't consider they too may one day pay for another's selfish desire. Funny, isn't it? There's more? <laughs> How much more clues? Don't tell me we're gonna go a whole circle. We're gonna go back there. Imagine we do. Imagine. You found some stains on the walls. As you leaned in closer to look, you can make out some blurry text. Words like monster, witch, banisher, and all her fault. 
all written thickly on the wall, a couple of pages from a children's book silently resting on the ground. Later, the shepherd openly blamed the black lamb for the flock's decline. On the next day, the white lambs welcomed the rising sun as usual. But the black lamb was nowhere to be found. The shepherd introduced an unspoken rule to this village. One that our black lamb violated by telling the truth. Suddenly, the once doting god stopped fulfilling wishes because no more sacrifices were being made. After witnessing the black lamb's actions and hearing from their almighty shepherd, what do you suppose the white lambs did? Ah, those oblivious lambs. Little did they know the most fearsome demon was right under their noses. Well done. You didn't let any detail slip. Now, I wonder, what is your takeaway from this story? Answer me and I'll reveal the truth of what happened. Who was the real culprit behind the diminishing number of lambs? Indeed, the direct culprit was the shepherd. He held all the power, fulfilling wishes at a price. The lambs knew the risks, yet succumbed to temptation. Unfortunately, in the face of such temptation, they disregarded all the hidden risks, as disaster had yet to befall them. If they were given another chance, I believe they would still choose the same path. Inevitably, they accepted their fate and paid the price when their time came. Now, my second question. What price did the lambs pay for their wishes? Of course, as always, life was the most valuable thing they had to offer. Here's my final question. What happened to the black lamb? Ah, 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 ah. Don't rush, Rover. Take your time. What is the truth you've uncovered? The shepherd was granting wishes by sacrificing the lives of lambs. The flock found out the truth, but chose to be his accomplices, and they willingly offered the black lamb as another sacrifice. <laughs> That's right! Little lambs cowered and huddled in their village, terrified of the relentless wolf packs until a shepherd arrived, bearing the gift of wishes and providing shelter and sustenance. Slowly, the shepherd gained control over the flock, and the lambs lived contented lives. But this is not the end of our story. The shepherd found the solitary black lamb in his flock and offered to grant any wish it desired. In exchange, he wanted one of its companions as a sacrifice. The black lamb refused and it was shunned by its flock, left without shelter or sustenance. After the black lamb's exile, more lambs continued to vanish. The shepherd then blamed the black lamb for breaking the rules and withheld his wish-granting power as punishment. From the very beginning, the lambs knew the risk of making wishes. They too could become sacrifices for those of others. But they always believed it wouldn't be them. 
Meanwhile, some lambs reasoned that since they had already risked being sacrificed for someone else's wish, it was then only fair to pass on that risk for a chance at fulfilling their own desires. And so they continued to play the game. They all knew the consequences, but chose to remain silent. Fearful, yet greedy, they followed the shepherd's orders and made wishes again and again. Until one day, a brave black lamb spoke up, shattering the flock's facade, their illusion of a peaceful and happy life. lamb got in their way, and that of the shepherd's greedy pursuit, sparking hatred in their hearts. Suddenly, they could no longer ignore the blood and ashes of past sacrifices littering the ground. How do you like my story? Rover. What really happened here, I suppose you already have it figured out? The black lamb who rebelled against the rules, and the white lambs who succumbed to their greed. The innocent maiden sacrificed, and the villagers who turned on each other in a ruthless frenzy. They had it coming. All the shepherd had to do was execute the rebel. That's how he kept the flock in check and maintained the status quo. Fun answer, but no, not even close. I was never the shepherd, never will be. You and I, we are the black lamb. No one who breaks the rules. <laughs> Interesting, Rover. <laughs> I'm liking you more and more. Well then, let's see if this black lamb is going to end up like you say. Well, break scars, Elysium. We still need to find. Welcome to the realm of endless chaos. Now is your time to think, Rover. What is the right path to take? Not joining you? Oh, you found us already. So he... Hmm. Shake and shiver, blink an eye. A flock of lambs comes passing by. Fleece of white, black, and red. Who's the sweetest one ahead? Watch out, my dear. Your pioneers are lying at your feet. Don't look back. Join them on this right path. And I've got a scorchingly delightful w uh, uh uh Don't rush. One slip and you'll shatter to pieces. Is he gonna keep talking? <laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> okay. I was gonna say he's most likely not gonna give us a yang yang unless we beat him at the end. So speed. Such brutality. <laughs> Can't you see? We are kindred. Tell me, 
Do you want to be the rule-setting shepherd or the rule-breaking black lab? If a sane person manages to survive in a realm of lunatics, would you call them the last one of reason? Or the sole apostle? Think about it! The shepherd is not the preordained embodiment of truth. Once he is gone for good, the Black Lab can reclaim the trust of its herd. Then, eventually, there will be none left to be victims or aggressors! Is he done? <laughs> I sense your weakness. One more I... time. One with the sound. Oh. Forgot I can use shift to dodge as well. One more time. One more time. Dang. One more time. Keep it I can't do nothing. <laughs> I can't do nothing. Leave it to me. Hmm. The fruit of evolution. Reverend. Let the winds roar. Swift and resolute. Rover. There we go. Not the loading. Not the loading. I thought I was just gonna go straight to the cutscene. It likes to stop at 65%. That's like its favorite percent to stop, at least from what I notice. And it'll probably go up to like 80, 85, and then stop again, maybe. And then it'll it'll finish. Unless it, it just wants to finish right now. But yeah. This uh th this game sometimes has a loading problem. Or I, I doubt my internet because after the initial login for like Genshin or Star Rail, I'm automatically like in. And nothing really takes too long. As like not as long as this. But then again, this is still like day two. Day two, day three. Whatever it is, two and a half. <laughs> still having bugs. The audio is still cutting in and out. Um, my connection would go like really high, like really red nine 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 at the beginning when I first log in. So they still got things to tweak, but it's all good. It's all good. I'm still having fun with the game. <laughs> there, oh, there it is, eighty, eighty percent. Like I said. Still stop for a little bit. Come on. Rover? Rover? I shattered Scar's illusion. That should have injured him. Oh! Should I thank you for showing me mercy? Stay away from her. Uh, didn't you promise to leave me some alone time with Rover? With one condition. I do hope you haven't let that slip from your mind. Don't let your improvisation trouble others. <sighs> Look at you, rushing in to protect your precious, perfect movement. No worries. I know all the do's and don'ts. I don't need you to tell me what to do. Rover, it seems our happy little date must come to an end. But don't forget my sincere reminders. Let me know what you choose. An unexpected gift? An honest and open exchange? Or a highly risky gamble? The choice is yours. I know how smart you are. You won't make a hasty decision. We'll meet again in the not too distant future. They're gone. Should we go after them? Oh, 
Don't worry. I'm okay. Scar's resonance abilities appear to involve teleportation and the manipulation of space. He trapped me in confinement, and I could only sense that it wasn't far from here. It took me some time to break that barrier. Sorry, Rover. If only I could have reached you sooner. <laughs> Brother. Brother. Huh? Why are you here, little one? I've never seen any tacit discord display such vivid emotions. The brother had mentioned. Could it be? Yes, that is a possibility. Since Scar had been here before, let's talk about it later. Rover. Can you fill me in on what happened? It seems all the tragedies in Tichi Village were linked to that ritual. Making up stories based on real life to support his twisted beliefs? That does sound like something he might do. We cannot take his words for granted. Now, we must locate where the ritual took place and see for ourselves. What's the matter? Two distinct frequencies of tacit discords. I see. I can feel it in the streams. Over there. Follow me. In the south. They are unharmed. Please rest assured, as you anticipated, Scar did not try to kill them. Yes, I stayed out of it like you asked. Is everything all right on your end? Please be sure to stay safe, my lady. Rover, do you still have the plaque we found earlier? The one broken in half? Yes. As I thought, I just felt a similar vibration from that direction. Please follow me. It's the missing half. We can piece them together now. Sorry, I didn't speak that whole time going up to get the second half because I felt like sneezing. The heck? That was weird. I don't know if you guys heard it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys heard it, but um, I heard a little beep, so I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna remember what time that happened. Like it happened like around a 56 minute mark around there. So I'm gonna see if anything happened with the audio or something because it was just a random beep. I don't know if you guys heard it, but I can't believe it. There is such a big opening down here. I can't believe. Just cut her off like that. Um, uh, can we break this one? I can't believe it. There is such a big opening down here. How odd. This place should have been soaked in water, but everything is dry here. Even the vegetation is thriving. Hmm. Did Scar do this? That tree. 
It's stunning. It's almost eerily enchanting. Please, save us. Are you trying to tell us about something hidden here? So obviously the leaf was from here, as you can tell from the tree. I don't know if it was obvious when we were up on top. I didn't... Where did it go? I obviously didn't pick up on it until oh, now. Is that a diary? So yeah. She definitely sent us over here to probably figure out what happened. Maybe. Most likely. Oh, how long is it? Oh man, it's pretty long. All right, let me try to skim through this. Uh, like real, real speed reading, but I'm probably not gonna remember anything about it, as I am also speaking as I do this. But uh. Something about father not remembering diary. Actually, here, I'll just have you guys read it. And then just pause it real quick. And then I'm going to move down to the next part. So I'm going to go by, like, by section. And then we'll move on to the next part. Pause it here for you guys. This is a lot to read, guys. This is a lot to read. But this, this is if you guys want to read, obviously. So... Sorry if I keep moving it. And then that should be the end. Uh, at the end of the last diary entry, you see a message in another handwriting. It seems you are the luckier one. A diary. Buried under the peach blossom by the tree. Was that, was that the one I read? That girl just wanted to save her village. But those sacrifices didn't lead to redemption. I guess the tacit discord we saw stayed here to convey her last wishes. Please excuse me. It's getting a bit too cold here. Can we head back now? Sorry, Rover. I didn't feel comfortable down there. The air was heavy in that place without any wind to speak of. But I could still feel so many emotions and desperate cries for help. I... I couldn't handle it. The villagers were a complex mix of emotions. Hope, resentment, and despair. And as I read the diary, I could feel the intense sorrow and longing of its owner. What was the diary's owner longing for? Was it the peaceful life she once had? Or did she miss her only family? The person who pushed her towards such a tragic end? My apologies. I got lost in thoughts again. I wish I could say such tragedies won't happen again. But I still lack the confidence to make that claim. It was tragedies like this that made me want to become an outrider to become someone with the strength to stop them from ever happening again. I cannot stop the lament, but at least I should do everything in my power to help those affected by it. Really? Thank you, Rover. Dwelling on it won't do us any good. Let's go. I'll compile a report on what happened here and send it in along with the clues we've gathered. Yes, let's go back. Together. Oh, so that's Act Three. Interesting. All right, I'm cool with that. Uh, union level and Union XP accumulate Union XP to increase Union level and thus unlock more quests and gameplay. You can quickly obtain Union XP through the following ways: daily activity quests. Oh, so now I have unlocked daily quests. I'll probably do that after. I'm done with uploading and stuff. Excuse me.
uh consume wave plate so stamina or resin whatever it is complete various quests and open chests and complete gameplays in the overworld okay i did see that already like when i was going around i didn't know what union xp was so now i know uh in guidebook you can check the recommendation quest for your current level cool Oh. Complete quest to claim activity points. Okay. It's pretty much the same thing. And it'll take 40. So yeah, so I'll just do the daily quest and... Should be good. Milestones. Let's uh, just... Claim them all. Claim them all while we can. And then... Ah, oh, we were short. I'm getting it. Upgrade one weapon to level 20. You know what? Pioneer podcast task to complete the Pioneer podca podcast task to gain Pioneer podcast experience and acquire various rewards. Uh, what was I going to check? I was going to check Shepherd game. I was just going to increase this one to level 20 then, if that's the case. Yeah. Just to, just to get that out of the way, you know? What's this? Oh! Cool! What is this? It's called Odyssey of Beginnings. What is this called? Resonance. So, I guess it's called R1 here, then? Um... Is this the book or whatever? No, this is the podcast. I, I didn't want the pod- Oh! This looks heavily familiar. To uh, Star Rails. Heavily. Heavily familiar. Alright, so this is basically the... Got it. Good to know that I unlocked all that. Back here, claim this. Claim that. Oh, more stuff to claim. Jeez. Uh, Soul 3 Phase Ascension 1. By reaching a higher Soul 3 Phase, you will have the opportunity to gain more rewards after defeating enemies or clearing Sonoro Spheres. However, be warned that the enemies you encounter will also be more dangerous and vice versa. Oh, so it's basically increasing the... Yeah, I get it. Um, I'll probably do that later, maybe. Complete one simulation challenge. Don't know what that is. Uh, let's, let's do the daily quest, you know? Why not? Find a variety of powerful enemies in the overworld. Some exiles showed up in the wild again. Go and defeat them. Is that what this is? No, this is not what this is. Alright. Good thing I fast travel. I unlocked that fast travel. Because it is pretty close. Now... I was wondering why I didn't have any daily quests. I guess I had to finish, what was it, Act 3? Such... That's at least, what, 3-4 hours of... playing? If you don't, like, travel? Or, like... Uh, venture around the map? Before, uh... Continue with the story? Because if you include the time that I took... Then I'd say maybe like boss challenge. You can obtain character ascension materials. Okay. Why did they just show me this last time? <laughs> I pulled up the map. What the heck? I want my daily quests here, please. I just want my daily quests. I'll I'll check those out later. Like, oh, this one I just shoot right. Oh my! Hold up, please. <laughs> Going against wind. Oh. Um. What was I gonna do? The daily quest. What was I saying? I don't remember. Yeah, I really don't remember. Oh, with the time I took to. <laughs> One with the sound. Go around and get the waypoints. It's probably like another 30 minutes. 
at least. And the uh, side quest I did. So you could say I'm like, because yesterday's video was two hours. The other one was like an hour and a half. Now it's another hour, say hour 15. We'll just say like five hours. Five, five and a half. Oh, that was a daily quest. Okay, we're good there. Um, where does this want to go? Might as well follow it. It'll give us some stuff, I guess. Level 23? Yo, these are higher level. What the heck? I'm not too far off, but... Please, whatever, I forgot what they were called. Mutterflies, I think. These reminds me of like the silly Seelies in um, Genshin. From the shadow, one with the sound. Oh, it's not that bad. This is the first time I've seen them higher level. Is it, was that Ascension thing automatic? I feel like it might have been. This is one with the sound. Deal with these first. No hesitation. I just wanted to do my daily quest, guys. And that butterfly thing. What? These bunny things also want <laughs> wanna fight? We didn't get the other one yet. Keep it together. It was you. Immune? Oh, because I guess we're the same type. I guess. Okay, I'm back here. Alright. Anything else wants to fight, I guess. No? Okay. Uh, what did level up only? What do you have? Ascend. Cool. I did want to ascend her. As I grow, so I guess my ascension did go wider. up because I wasn't able to do this earlier. That's good to know. Uh, how much? How many pulls do we have? That's another thing. I still haven't figured out the t the daily time i'm gonna be real maybe when i look at here resets after 19 hours 19 and a half hours so what time is it right now so if i add what four and a half it'll be 24. oh so it's pretty much like the same almost about the same time as I normally do my daily, so Ooh. that's good to know. And back here, let us do some pulls to see if we can uh, get our five star before or pretty early. Is there a free one? That'd be pretty dope if there was a free one. Oh, there's a level bundle though. Speaking about free. Anything else I can grab before I possibly do some pulls? Not possibly, I will do some pulls. Tutorials, obviously, just take as much as I can. Trophies. Well, yeah, guys, I know I've been saying it, but I am enjoying this game. A lot of it does feel familiar, obviously, because I do play the other games. What's this? I thought there'd be like a quest to increase um, our ascension, but I guess it's just automatic. There's more stuff here. What happened? To get updates and Ashrite 60. Follow our official. I'll do that later then. 
Anything else for me? No. All right. Let's go to convene. And see our luck here. So I guess just two pulls, right? Maybe three if that doesn't cost too much. Can we get a uh, Tianxin? As early as possible? Maybe. No. We'll just skip. Oh, time for another afternoon consultation, I see. What's on your mind today? I don't know who you are. And then one more pull here. No. No five star this time around. Maybe next video if we get enough. Oh, can we use that sword though? I know we just level 20'd it, but I'm pretty sure we could use it as experience material. Oh, we need 1120. Yikes. <laughs> and there's no any other way I can. I don't want to use this for this. I, sh uh, I would want to only use these things for the Radiant Tide. And this if I want a weapon, I guess. Yeah, and I do want to grab this, but there's still like 40 days. 40 days? Yeah, we're good. We're good for now. We'll just chill and uh, see how much we get tomorrow. Maybe I'll get more because obviously I'll probably most likely roam around the map again. Can I use that? No? Is this a different kind of sword, or am I tripping here? I need to look at that sword. Maybe... Uh, where's my backpack? You want to look at weapons, which... Here we are. It's a broad blade. Oh, okay. It makes sense. All these swords are broad blades, which is why I can't equip, equip them. I just need a normal sword. <laughs> Man, like, why I keep getting broad blades? Oh well. We do have pistols and gauntlets, so... Hopefully we can... What does Tian, Tian Chen use? <laughs> what does she use? Let's see. Gauntlets, cool. So we can at least give her something. Well, if we get... When we get her. Well... I guess with that being said, guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you guys are making this far in this video, I do want to say thank you. If you guys can hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this act. It was shorter than the last one, although last video we did finish act one and then act two as well. So explain why we did reach two hours. So. It's actually a good thing as well because 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 I had to do a little extra rendering and stuff to make the audio a little bit louder in yesterday's video. I ended up staying up longer than not st yeah staying up longer than I wanted, or just basically <laughs> working on that video more than I wanted. So hopefully the audio is better now where I don't have to do anything extra to make it louder. Hopefully the thing I did in OBS will work perfectly fine. Che when I checked before recording, when I tested it out, it seemed fine. So I even increased it a little bit more so it might be a little bit louder so I can play around it a little bit more. But pretty much... That's pretty much it for this video, guys. So just like I said, leave it down in the comments what you think about the video or chapter, the act. Let me know if you guys have pulled for any characters, whether it was in the standard banner from the novice one or the selection one that we have currently. Or if you went for the general, that's honestly off. He seemed pretty cool. <laughs> he seemed pretty cool, but I'm not pulling. I'm not pulling. I'm just going to get the selection out of the way and then save from there, pretty much. But other than that, guys, thank you once again. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.